Hi everybody, welcome back to Anthony TV. Um, today, this episode, um, we're going to talk, kind of give you an update what's happened uh, recently since the last time I did the video. Um, so it's official now. Uh, we talked about Colorado already joining the Big 12, leaving the Pac-12, joining the Big 12. Now we, it's official, I could finally say now Arizona, Arizona State and Utah have completed the 16 part. Um, this video though, I'm gonna talk about how it can get up to 18. I think 18 could actually work instead of 20. Um, I think 20 is a little bit messy, but um, 18 I think works out perfectly. You can um, schedule um, opponents every, every other year. You'll only be tied to your opponent. We'll talk about that right now, but um, yeah, basically the, the Pac-12 is basically done. Um, as you can see down there, rest in peace. I think the ACC is going to be next. I mean, uh, they, the ACC is interesting because they are they could still be a, a league, um, but the thing is, um, you know, Florida State wants to get out. I think their TV situation is just twenty thirty six is a long time, and I know they don't want to stay in that for that long. So let's see what happens. I mean, maybe this league um, starts dismantling little by little. Um, but there's a lot of schools in the ACC I feel that that are better fits for the Big Ten and the SEC. So we'll talk about that a little bit later on. But let's get into the slide here. So with the news and everything that's happened, um, I got this right here from uh, Brownie Talk Sports. So a shout out to you. Um, are you going to make a, a video about the most recent move? So yeah, this is what this was about. And we're also going to get into uh, the uh, 18 concept right now. But these are the list of the teams. Um, that are there in the current Big 12. I hope you guys could see that. I'm going to raise it up a little bit because last video, um, you, the guy kind of cut off there. So I hope you guys see that. Um, anyway, so that's the list. You can screenshot the new 16 teams in the Big 12. Um, for, if scheduling, if they ever go to a... If there's 16 teams now and it stays that way and they go to a um, an eight-game... You can do a you can do a nine game still, but you would have to pair them. We'll talk about pairs right now for a nine game schedule. But for an eight game schedule, you just be tied to your opponent, and then um, you play everybody else seven times, or not. Um, you play the other seven on one side, the other seven on the other side. You swap years. We'll talk more about scheduling right now too. But that's the current um, big new Big Twelve uh, with the sixteen teams. That's how I would um, basically what I did was I paired them and. Um, the first letter in the alphabet I put in line A. Second letter in the alpha, second um, team is line B. So that's how you would separate that. But we'll talk about that right now. That's how the the new Big Twelve map looks at the moment. Um, so again, if you were to do a nine team schedule, um, you would these four would um, play each other every year. At these four play each other every year. These four in Texas play each other every year, and then everybody else in the East. So you play each other every year, and then you play everybody else. Um, let's say UCF will play Baylor, Houston. Then they play. Um, then they play TC, Texas TCU the following year. Kansas schools they play. They play Oklahoma State, Colorado the following year, and then it'll just keep going like that. So that's how. That's an example of that for for a nine game schedule. So if you play this three, and then two of everybody else at six, that's nine right there. So that's how it currently looks. Um, <clears throat> you can read through this. I'll go ahead and read through it real quick. Um, with the current 16 that they have right now, I believe that they can get to 18. 18 is actually the perfect number, especially scheduling uh, nine conference games without pods or and divisions. So remember that without pods and divisions, we don't really want to group them here. Um, I would like to see Stanford and Cal join the Big 12 to make it 12 to make the Big 12 18, but maybe Big 12 is waiting for the ACC to implode and get Pitt, Louisville, or Georgia. You know, those are examples like that team um, scheduling for football would be you are tied to your rival. We like we talked about, you're just tied to your rival who you play just one time every year and then eight teams. Then the following year, the other eight teams and repeat the cycle equals to nine conference games a year. Conference championship would be, <clears throat> excuse me, would be two would be the two best teams would be the two best records. No pods, no divisions. Um, for basketball, works the same way. Only tied to your rival. Who you, in basketball, you do play twice a year, so one home, one away, um, and everyone else, including Gonzaga and UConn, 
one time. So if you include Gonzaga and UConn, which I know they want to, they're trying to get after still, and I hope they can get UConn as a basketball only because um, that would be perfect if they could do that. And then we'll be all set to go here. So anyway, Gonzaga and UConn play each other twice a year, um, giving the basketball t 20 members and 20 conference games for each conference member. Um, I call that the 2020 model for basketball. Conference tournament can be all 20 members. Top 12 get first round buys, while the first round will be playing playing games such as 13 versus 20, 14 versus 19, 15 versus 18, 16 versus 17. The four winners move on to make it an even 16 for round two, and then eventually they'll break down to eight for the conference championship game and then the conference champion. Um, so yeah, so you know, what are your thoughts of this concept so far? As we're gonna get into it, you can see the the possibilities, uh, some po pairing possibilities you'll see to make it the big, um, the you know, to help and make it the super conference that it is with 18 teams. So this will be the this would be if you include UConn and Gonzaga. Um, line A would be UConn because University of Connecticut, and Gonzaga because it's you know C's before G. So we have Connecticut before Gonzaga. So we have Connecticut in line A, Gonzaga line B. So that's that's what that line would look like if you include them for basketball. So basketball basically works out great. Arizona plays Arizona State two times, and they play everybody else just once. So that would be another nine on this side, nine on that side. These guys twice, that's 20 conference games right there, which is great. Um, but actually, this is for 16 still. My bad. That That's still for 16, so it's going to be on 8. eight. So this would be a, a 18 game. If it's uh, 16 teams, it would be an 18 game. Um, or it could be 20 if you play BYU. And if Arizona plays BYU in Utah, then it will be go up to 20 in that way. So you have to group them for basketball too. Anyway, this is option A for uh, 18 teams. Let's talk about 18 teams now. This is option A. This this map here, um, I include uh, Connecticut and Gonzaga and all of these. So for basketball only, that's why you see the orange basketballs behind those. But um, for here, option map A, I do have um, Cal and Stanford here as a possibility. It gives two more teams on the West Coast. Um, feel bad for Cal and Stanford. I don't think they're gonna, they are going to get in the Big 12, but... Big Ten could be a possibility in the future, but for right now, I think they need to go. I don't think they're going to go Mountain West. They probably should, but there's reports about them maybe joining the ACC, and if the ACC can expand, then okay. But right now, I have the ACC kind of pl – I'm plucking from them right now because I think they're going to be the next team that, that gets plucked here, and we'll see. We could be wrong, but we'll see what happens. But this is map A. for Cal It includes Cal and Stanford. This one here, map B, is uh, Oregon State and Washington State, as you can see up here, the upper right. Um, <clears throat> could be possible. I don't know. Um, especially if Cal and Stanford pass. You never know. But let's see what happens. I see more of the Mountain West. For Cal and Stanford, I see either Independence or um, or ACC. But let's. I don't know about the ACC idea. I don't really like it. Um, and then for Oregon State, Washington State, uh Big 12 or Mountain West. Mountain West probably is probably the more uh, actual possibility here. So that's Map B. Map C here. Uh, this is actually, uh, I really like this one a lot. We're over here on the East Coast. So I, we have put more teams in the East. Um, I like I like Pitt and Louisville. Uh, I think that's a, a good, but I wouldn't pair them together though. Uh, obviously Pitt would be, would be joined with West Virginia. Uh, Cincinnati and Louisville is not a pair either. I got Cincinnati with Iowa State. And then Louis, because Iowa State is so far away from UCF. Louisville is closer to UCF, so I have Louisville, UCF, Cincinnati, Iowa State, Pitt, and West Virginia. So that's how that works there on that one. This one here, uh, this is D, map D. Uh, we got Louisville, Virginia Tech. Another good possibility here, but uh, I would would not pair Tech with uh, Louisville. I would pair Tech with UCF. Um, I think this one you could pair West Virginia and Cincinnati and then Louisville and Iowa State. You can do that one, do it like that. So that's D. This is E here. We got Pitt and, and Virginia Tech. Um, <clears throat> you know, this one, same, I think Iowa State, Cincinnati, you'd be a pair. Uh, Pitt and West Virginia would be a pair. Then you'd have Virginia Tech and Central Florida. That would be a pair. And then um, <clears throat> here, the same thing. I think it's uh, we get Cincinnati. I think we compare Cincinnati, West Virginia here. Um, Louisville, 
Iowa State, Georgia Tech, UCF. That actually looks pretty cool, pretty good. Uh, and then here we have, uh, this is, where were we at? That was map, which letter was that again? E, I believe. This is F. No, this is G. This That was F. This is G, map G right here. I got Pitt and Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech would be paired with UCF here, Pitt with West Virginia, and then Cincinnati, Iowa State. So that doesn't change that much there. Um, and this one we have the two techs, Virginia Tech and Georgia Tech. Uh, we'll probably do Iowa State, Cincinnati again, West Virginia, Virginia Tech, so the two Virginias, and Georgia Tech, UCF here. And then uh, we'll talk about other pairs right now too, but these are just possibilities. And then this last one here, this is uh, uh, I have what uh, NC State and Wake Forest, if you could see them right here. That's them right there. So that's, those are, you know, map A through I. Let me know which one you guys think is your favorite. I'll let you know my favorite right now. Um, and I'll let, explain why. But other pairings too. We'll talk about other pairings right now. First, let's talk about the chant, the possibility of how to how to show these games. So Big Noon Fox, we know the Big 10 or the Big 18 now um, has that. They're obviously going to be on Fox. Um, they're, and then I don't know about if it, how these bottom channels um, will line up, but this could be a different order obviously these bottom channels but these top channels right here this is gonna has to be their order so they got big noon fox they got the cbs um um noon game then they got the primetime game on nbc i think they can show an after dark game on abc or espn either one um would be nice it's just an I their lineup that's how their their order would be sec this would be the sec's order how they would do it so they would open up on espn then go to fox cbs primetime and then finish off on NBC or USA Network um, the Super C so this is gonna be this is the new Super C the super conference that um that the, this is the new Big 12 basically so this is gonna and I came up with the logo right there for a temporary logo hopefully they consider something like that because it's you know it's like a, a C in a form of a diamond so anyway this would be their lineup here um, CBS NBC ABC Fox and then um, this one here, Notre Dame can kick things off on NBC here. And then they can show a mix of like Mountain West games and American games on, on the rest of these channels. Um, so that's how I would do that. You know, as long as the other three is not are not showing on here, um, they can work it in somehow. Um, you have to have those eight channels. I feel like you have to have those eight channels right there and everything would be would be great. The networks would be happy. You have your A, li your a list and your B list down here. A list on top, A list on the bottom. A B list on the bottom, excuse me. This is the map I picked, guys. I picked Louisville and Pitt for 18 teams. I think these are, this would, um, you, you could put Pitt with West Virginia. Um, you can keep Cincinnati, Iowa State, and I put Louisville with Central Florida. Because Louisville and Central Florida, I've played some games, some good games in the past. On I think Louisville, um, I think, I don't know if they remember the ACC yet or before they were in the ACC. Um, they played some pretty good games. Um, and we all know Pitt and West Virginia is that's a backyard brawl, so that that's going to be good. Um, other pairings here, you got the two Utah schools, Utah and BYU. Two Arizona schools are together, so they got the Holy War and the Dueling Desert. Uh, I paired Colorado with Oklahoma State just because Colorado used to be a, a rival with Nebraska. Oklahoma used to be with Oklahoma. Oklahoma State used to be with Oklahoma. So and Oklahoma and Nebraska are, are rivals. So while well, they used to be in the big, the good Big Twelve days. So we'll pair those two together because the Kansas schools are together. I thought about putting uh, Colorado and Tech, but and and Oklahoma State and Houston, but we don't want to separate the Texas group either. So we put since TCU and Baylor are um, like a mandatory every year thing, we paired them together. So we paired Tech and and Houston. So, so we got red and black and red and white, right there for that pairing. Iowa State's with Cincinnati already. We got Pitt, West Virginia, and then we got Louisville. UCF and we got uh, UConn and Gonzaga for scheduling partners for uh, basketball, and then um, so this is the line how line B would look for 18 teams, um, including UConn and Gonzaga. So line A, line B, that's that's your list right there, including uh, Louisville and Pittsburgh to make it 18. That's my personal pick for 18. Um, and let me know what you guys think. Uh, hopefully you guys could see the. Did I go? Yeah, hopefully you guys can see that on the top there. I kind of zoomed. I'm zoomed more, more out in this video so you guys can see everything. Um, the top was cut off in the last video. I apologize for that. So that's a list of the my super my super conference. It's 18 for football, 20 for basketball. And um, there you go. That's the finishing map right there. Uh, thanks again, guys, for watching. I think that this concept was really fun. Um, 
let's see let's see if uh the big big 12 decides to get um go after acc teams my top picks would be pitt and louisville and then obviously for basketball only you connecticut and gonzaga don't know what to say about connecticut football but i think they could say in the american i believe they're there right now um but come over to the big 12 for basketball and same with gonzaga so hope you guys like this concept guys and um again um let me know your opinions what do you think about this realignment things and um and yeah um good luck for everybody the upcoming season we'll do more videos we'll talk about other stuff too but until then guys thanks again for joining me and um we'll talk next time take care